Hello and welcome to the Engitin channel. Today I will present using a practical approach these nice flow sensors that I am presenting now to measure fluids or liquids. So the objective of this video is demonstrate how this sensor works and finally we will disassemble to demonstrate how is the principle of working this such of flow sensor. So let's start talking about the small one flow sensor. Inside this flow sensor there is a small electronic component that is how effect. Now let's move to a practical approach. First of all let's start to test and to do that we need to know what is the sensor will generate. So, as I mentioned before, the flow sensor will generate pulses. So, to test that, there is two ways of do that. One of them is using some kind of signalization. And for this, we're gonna use a LED. This such of LED that I'm using as a standard has the long leg as a positive pole and the short leg as a negative. Before connect the LED, let's recall the wires of the flow sensor. We have the red one that is positive, we have the yellow one that is the output of the signal, output of the pulses, and finally we have the black one that is the wire for connect the negative. So to connect the LED is very simple, we just need to put the positive and the negative of the LED between the yellow wire and the black wire in the connector of the flow sensor. Now as you can see with LED connected we have now our lighting signalization. So when we have the pulses being generated by the flow sensor will be possible to see the LED blinking further of the LID signalization. It's also necessary a power supply for energize the flow sensor. To do that I will use this AC-DC adapter and we're gonna use as well a DC-DC converter that can adjust it according our necessity. So in the back of the CDC converter we can see that the input will gonna be uh, 5 volts DC and will be possible to adjust the output between 1 and 24 DC volts. And here in this green connector we can see where we will connect the positive and negative to energize the flow sensor. Connecting the DC-DC converter let's adjust to 5 volts DC. Just emphasize that the voltage range is in the label of the flow sensor as we can see is between 4.5 until 24 volts DC. Now we're gonna do the wiring connection between the power supply and the flow sensor. As you can see I will use a black wire to the negative and the red wire to positive. Now let's connect in the side of the DC-DC converter the positive and the negative and now we already have our flow sensor ready to make the tests. So the next step is pass water inside the flow sensor and according to the flow inside the sensor the LED that is connected in the output will blink slower for a low flow rate and will be blink faster when you have a high flow rate. Other options to generate flow through the sensor instead of use water is blow air through the sensor. So the behave will be almost the same of water and will be possible to see the LED blinking according to the flow rate of air passing through the flow sensor. The behavior with water will be almost the same because inside the flow sensor we have a turbine that will spin according to the velocity of the fluid or the air that is passing inside the flow sensor. Now connecting this rubber tube we just need to pay attention in the direction of the flow and now I just will blow air 
and we will gonna see the LED blinking according to the flow rate. So as you can see, when the air is blowing through the sensor, we will have the LED blinking. And in some cases, it's possible that when the blow of the air is stopped, the LED keep turn on. This is because the position of the gear inside the flow sensor stopped in a condition that the output is on, or sometimes they will stop in a condition that the output is off. But this is not important because the objective of the sensor is just to generate pulses. So hope have clarified some doubts about this search of flow sensor. And if you enjoy this search of content, consider to subscribe to the channel. And finally, thanks for watching. See you soon.